Welcome back to our annual Trading Cards Fencing Tournament, a highlight for all lovers of the fencing style of Achille Marozzo and the Bolognese fencing tradition of the 16th century. The ranking after the pre-rounds resulted in Michael by Armit Sarevin in 3rd place and another Michael from our club Fjord de la Spada in 2nd place. The two of them are going to fight in the semi-finals. The winner of that fight then moves on to challenge first place of the ranking Gerold by Fjord de la Spada. So we will soon discover what cards the fighters have left in their decks and go right to the semi-finals. Have fun! And Michael picks his card, it's the pole arm! And second Michael plays sword and dagger, so it's gonna be pole arm against sword and dagger! <laughs> I guess that Greenfighter on the left wished he had not played his own polearm card in the last fight of the pre rounds because this is gonna be tough for him. And there's our first hit. Thrust to the head. Clean, no counter attack possible, three points for red. That one missed it. And impales himself on the pole arm. Again, no counter attack possible. Two points for red. We are at zero to five for red. Okay. So red gets the arm or the shoulder, and green then drives, tries to land a counter attack and drives him over the line, but it's too late. Yeah, referee also says it was outside of the ring, or outside of the fighting ground. So he awards one point to red for that arm hit. Zero to six. One more point and red fighter wins the semi-finals. And green needs a hit, desperately. Green needs a point, come on. He doesn't want to go in. And that was it. Another hit to the head, which means three additional points for red. And this means that in the final fight we will see Michael from Armitsarevin against Gerold from Fjord de la Spada. First fighter just handed in his card, second card incoming. And it's two swords against Spadero Tellas, a sword and shield. So we're having a rather offensive combination, two swords against the very defensive combination, sword and round shield, or spada rotella, as the Bolognese sources call it. And since we have our first hit, Red Fighter shows he was hit on the torso. Yeah, it was a thrust to the torso, and Red on the other side seems he cut over the hand. So two points for green, one point for red for this exchange. Both trying to go into the next exchange with caution and there falls a sword to the ground. But from this angle it's rather difficult to see what was going on. It seems to end with an attack to the head by red. But before that green thrusts to the torso. Let's see what the referee says. Two points to green. And three points to red for uh, the hit to the head. We are at four to four in this final. Oh, 
Ooh, looks like a double hit. So green thrusts into the shoulder and then slides upward towards the neck. And red, on the other hand, gets the head. Hmm? Two points awarded to green. But red got the head of green, which means three points, one double hit, six to seven for red.